For this video, I wanted to point out two primary models that organizations in developing countries use, what the differences are between the two, and why defining that matters towards achieving your organization's goals. The two main models are known as relief or humanitarian aid and development. Both models have their place, and this video is not intended to put one down. However, it is important to have a clear distinction between the two. Let's begin with humanitarian aid. What is it and when is it appropriate? Relief aid typically offers an immediate response to a need, for example, sending meals, clothes, or water. In this model, most resources come from the outside of the developing country and are distributed to the local people. In other words, are given away for free. Relief is appropriate in times of unforeseen disaster, such as an earthquake, a tsunami, or war, or in a pandemic, for example. Relief stops the bleeding during these dire situations. It's meant to be a temporary solution, not a long-term strategy. Development, on the other hand, focuses more on long-range goals. It, re it requires strategic planning and ideally utilizes local resources in place of foreign ones whenever possible. The challenges with development are that they can be slow and tedious. Unlike putting a Band-Aid on a cut, it's more like therapy, which can often be more messy and even painful in the process. But in the end, the result is much stronger. So when should we use either model? Well, relief is valuable for short-term problems that may not have been seen or potentially as a bridge towards long-term development. The issue, however, is that many well-intentioned charities and nonprofits have employed a relief model for long-term situations. If nonprofits continue to use a relief model long-term, they're not able to address the underlying root issues and therefore cannot equip the local people to heal and ultimately flourish. Additionally, staying in a relief mindset for too long can create and even exacerbate a cycle of dependency that is not helpful or even respectful to the local communities because it can create a hero rescuer dynamic between the organization and the local people. To review the main differences between the two, relief focuses on short-term immediate solutions. It is necessary for survival and most often is set up as a handout where the provider is given away material goods for free. The tactics are usually quick and offer simple solutions for visible problems such as hunger, illness, etc. Development focuses on long-term solutions that require strategic planning and a great depth of understanding the root issues that have led to the problem. As much as possible, it utilizes local resources and focuses on curing the root issue, not just the surface problem. When done effectively, development is sustainable and gives local communities ownership of their own progress and flourishing. It can be hard to know how long relief aid may be appropriate. Some experts say it should not extend beyond six months. And while that's not an unreasonable guideline, I think that every situation is different. So in my estimation, I think a good principle to ask is, are we doing for the people for a prolonged period of time what they could be doing for themselves? If the answer is yes, then the organization should reevaluate its approach. I really believe that anyone working in a nonprofit or a charity that serves people in developing countries does truly want to help. So it is important to have these conversations and think critically about the ways that we go about helping people. How can we change this dynamic? How can we transition from a relief model towards one of development? And what challenges might come with that transition? Personally, I don't have all the answers, but my hope and intention is to share resources and perspectives to benefit others who want to help make our world a better one, and in particular for people in developing nations. So please share your insights in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be informed for future discussions like this one. Thank you.